Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel Bless Your Coupons. Today I'm headed to Walmart to do my Walmart I Bought a Haul. Um, now my midweek moneymaker bonus was a dollar for 10 offers. Um, and as I've said many times before because I just keep getting this bonus, it's not the most exciting um, but it's not the worst either. 10 offers is a pretty reasonable amount of offers to be able to get in one haul. So I do fully expect to be able to get all 10 offers. Um, but you know that dollar bonus doesn't make you want to go out and get an I bought a haul, but um, I'm headed to the store. I know I'll be able to pick up 10 offers and, uh, you know, get my out of pocket as low as possible. One rebate that is kind of cracking me up a little bit is the Colgate Renewal toothpaste. Now that rebate has been around for the longest time. Um, but right now, or yesterday anyway, uh, there was a rebate um, on I bought a Shopkick and uh, Swagbucks. But disappeared on uh, Shopkick for me. So I feel like, and then the other day it had disappeared on Ibotta. So I feel like I can't seem to get them all to line up at the same time. It either keeps disappearing on one or not the other, or it goes down in value or something like that. So that's kind of what it is right now. So I have it on Ibotta. I have it on Swagbucks, but the value went down on Swagbucks. So anyway, I probably am going to be picking it up, um, but I can't seem to get it to show up on all three uh rebate ups at the same time. So whatever, I'll still pick it up anyway, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, I do apologize that this video is a little bit later than usual. I feel like it's, you know, it's now two Mondays in a row that I've skipped because last Monday I did them. Um, it was a dollar for five offers. I just went ahead and picked them up at CVS. So I feel like it's been a little bit since I've done my Monday haul, but yesterday was my daughter's birthday and I was just kind of sticking close to home and, you know, celebrating that. So, but today's Tuesday, headed to Walmart, going to uh, definitely go ahead and grab those things. So, hey, if you want to see what I got at Walmart today, stay tuned and I'll show you. Okay, so here are all the things that I picked up at Walmart today for my Ibotta haul. I'm going to tell you right off the bat, things did not go so great for me. I feel like if there was trouble to be had, I had it. So, um, I picked up, actually, I had in my cart at checkout 11 offers. Um... I ended up putting one thing back because half of my coupons beeped. So there was the first bit of trouble that I had. One of them, the lady just fell. And, and I tended to agree with her that the coupon wasn't for the product. So I just said, you know what? Go ahead and put it back um, because I knew I had 11 and I only needed 10. And then um, once I got to the card to redeem my receipt, one of the things that I picked up would not attach any longer. So in store, and you can see them kind of towards the back, the um, legs sheer nylons. I scanned those, not something similar, not another pair. I scanned those boxes, said offer matched. I picked up two of them because they were on clearance. It made them like a quarter a piece. And then once I got to the car, they would not attach to my, re my receipt, would not pick them up. So I clicked the button that said verify more offers. Um, and uh, I, I chose the legs, uh, rebate. I scanned the items. It says offer doesn't match. And I'm like, what? I just scanned these in store and it said offer didn't match. So, um, I ended up having to, to submit a receipt because even once I went out of my app and back in and then tried to scan them like I was in store, it still said offer didn't match. So I did submit a ticket. I'm kind of hoping something will happen from that. But long story short, I only have nine offers here. Um, and, you know, if it takes any amount of time at all to to even get the money back, then I'll miss out on my bonus. So I probably will run in store um, and pick up one more thing just to get myself to the 10 offers because I don't want to miss it for one offer. Um, but, yeah, there were just problems. Like I said, half my coupons beeped. I had um, trouble with swag bucks. And I'll tell you about it as I go along. But let's go ahead and jump in, talk about what I get, and I'll explain it as we go. So the first thing I picked up was another bottle of the all laundry detergent. Now, the deal, we got a coupon over the weekend. So the deal ended up being the same even with the coupon because my rebate offer went down. Um, so these are $2.97. I used a dollar insert coupon. I redeemed to I bought it for a dollar and that made them 97 cents. I was kind of hoping it would stay at $2 and then it would have been free. But either way, I'm still happy to pick these up for 97 cents. And then a repeat deal many times over, but I actually used my last coupon today, so I probably won't be doing this again. But the Clairol Root Touch-Ups, these are um, $6.92 each, so I picked up two. I used the buy one free, buy one, get one free, uh, insert coupon, and that takes off $6.92. I redeemed to Ibotta for $3.50 on each, and that made my final cost free and an $0.08 cent money maker. 
Okay, so the Colgate Renewal Toothpaste. Um, these are $6.96 each, so I picked up two for $13.92. Now, the first little mistake I made was um, that coupon does not work on this item. And I wasn't paying attention when I pulled the coupon out of my binder, but it does say on multi-pack. So that is why that coupon beeped. It was the wrong one. Um, so what I actually ended up using was a dollar off to insert coupon. Then I redeemed to Ibotta for $5 on each, so $10. My Shopkick rebate disappeared, but go ahead and check your Shopkick app and see if you have a rebate for, for this because obviously it will make it cheaper. Mine was gone. I redeemed to swag bucks for $3 when you buy two. And I will also tell you that when I first submitted my receipt, it said um, there was nothing on my receipt. So I tried submitting it again. And the second time it said it needed to think about it. So I have not got the $3 back from swag bucks yet. I don't know why it's not picking them up. Um, you know, I read the, I read the rules. I made sure I had the right one. I don't know what the problem is. So hopefully that works out. But again, just another one of my problems. But as long as everything works out uh, with swag bucks, it makes them free and an eight cent money maker. And then this is a new rebate for me anyway. And I'm always excited to kind of pick something up that's new and different. Um, so these Benadryl Itch Relief Sticks, these are $2.34. I used a dollar insert coupon. I redeemed to Ibotta for 50 cents and that made my final cost 84 cents. And then the Oxy Acne Pads, these are $4.97. I used that dollar Peely coupon that you see there. I redeemed to Ibotta for $2 and that made my final cost $1.97. And then the Airwick Starter Kit. Um, now for my Ibotta rebate, it did have to be that particular scent, um, which was, um, now I can't remember, and I can't read the writing there, something and hibiscus. So I had to choose a specific scent. But these are $2.97. I used a $1.50 insert coupon. I redeemed I bought it for 75 cents and that made my final cost 72 cents. I will tell you that that coupon did beep. Now my Walmart will put coupons through if they beep, but um, the cashier was really, really analyzing them and I'm um, trying to make sure I had the right item, which is perfectly fine with me. But she's like, yeah, I think it's because you don't have this purple one. So I did, you know, explain to her, it does say on any. And again, she said, yeah, but it's not the same one in the picture. And I'm like, well, I know. Um, I said, but uh, I, that picture is there to kind of give you an example of what you're picking up. But the wording does say on any. So she did eventually put it through, um, but she was really, I don't think she was feeling it. I think she wanted me to have what was in the picture. And sometimes, you know, guys, we do have to kind of just explain that um, and just politely keep reinforcing, but it says on any. It may not match the picture, but it says on any. And, and you know, you just, I mean, they don't know. They don't, they're just trying to make sure they do their job and don't mess it up. So you just have to kind of be firm, but polite, obviously, and, and not be willing to take it too, too far. But I mean, she didn't let it go too far and, and she put it through. Okay. And then the renews it cone. So I picked up six for 97 cents each. That brought my total to 582. I used that buy, and that's wrong. I'll fix that. Use that buy four, get two free insert coupon. So that takes off a dollar 94. Redeem to Ibotta for $2 and that will make your final cost a dollar 88 or 31 cents each. And then another new rebate for me was this Gatorade, Gatorade Zero with protein. These are $1.78. I redeemed to Ibotta for a dollar, and that made it 78 cents. And then last are the Sargento Creamery Shredded Cheeses. I picked up two for $2.70 each. That brought my total to $5.40. I used a dollar off to insert coupon. I redeemed to Ibotta for a dollar each, um, so $2, and that made my final cost $2.40 or $1.20 each. Okay, and that's everything. Like I said, I'm one short of my uh, reaching my bonus, um, but hopefully Ibotta will give me the money back on the nylons. If not, like I said, I'll pick up one more thing, and then I'm also uh, waiting on Swagbucks to let me know about the Colgate. So I did have to submit two tickets, and if you're new to cashback apps and you're watching this video and you're like, that's too much trouble. Your coupons beeped and, and nothing went through. I mean, that's rare. There are the times that you're having to submit tickets or things aren't working out is really quite rare. Most of the thing, most of the time, things go through flawlessly, um, and and it's no problems at all. So I mean, every once in a while to have a few 
few problems. Not too big of a deal, but I also want to be honest with you and let you know it just wasn't the greatest day for an Ibotta haul. Um, but I am happy with the things I got and hopefully, like I said, those other things will work out. All right, guys, so there is a printable list in the description box below. If you'd like to print that out and take it to the store with you, you absolutely can do it that. Do that. There are referral links and codes for all of the cashback apps um, out there. So if you're not signed up, you can definitely get yourself signed up. Start saving money. Also, um, if you are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like this video, share, leave me a comment below. I love talking with you guys. And just thank you for watching this video and supporting my channel. It really means a lot to me. So I pray you guys have a very blessed evening and I'll catch you guys in the next video. All right. Bye-bye.